I'm going to start working on the turbo manifold for my daily driver Chevy Cruze turbo project coming up. I got a handful of things I'm going to need in order to build this manifold, the exhaust, as well as welding in the aluminum bung. What I ended up getting is a propane torch and some aluminum weld or whatever the heck it's called. So I'm gonna give that a shot for the pan. I got a reducer for the exhaust because I know the stock exhaust is two and a quarter after measuring it. So I got a reducer for that. I got some 308 stainless steel stick welding rods got all my fittings and everything set aside and just some assorted things that i got from harbor freight some gloves some gloves to work on the car with fortunately my valve cover gasket is leaking a little bit so i'm going to replace that while i'm at it and then some cutoff wheels oops a grinding wheel a stainless steel wire brush wheel so that way i can clean up the stainless steel metal here and then i think what i'm going to use there's no thinking to it. This is what I'm going to use for the gasket, so the copper gasket. And then, of course, this will be used for the valve. Not the valve cover, but the pan. The oil pan. Now I'm going to go down to my neighbor's shop and see if he'll be cool with me borrowing his stick welder. Doing it on a budget, baby. Doing it on a budget. Just borrow some tools. That's how you do it. Pow! There we go. I got the welder and i'll get to work on this header over this weekend i'll start working on it a little bit tonight man it is hot so i'll probably end up doing some of the work here in the shop once the sun comes down and it gets a little cooler i'm excited I've got all of my pieces cut down, polished, and now I'm ready to tack these on and do some welding. It's been a while since I've welded, but yeah, here goes nothing. I got it all tack welded up. I got a little carried away with the gap here. So 
so I'll have to, to fill that in, but it shouldn't be too bad. And even though, you know, one of the things about welding is the metal tends to shrink as you weld. And you can see how some of this stuff shrunk up a little bit, things kind of shifted. And I know for a fact I'm going to have to machine this because now it's a, a little warp, which is fine. Not a big deal, but I, I'm just going to move forward. And with what rods I got, I only have about four more welding rods left. I use one welding rod up to tack all this stuff up. But I think I'll probably start at the base because these are the most flush. And I'm going to have to get some more rods all I could find at Tractor Supply. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I'll start at the bottom of the flange so that way I can get a little bit of practice and the top will look better. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Well, that was a good refresher crash course on welding. I had never welded stainless steel either, so it was quite challenging. I went through the sticks that I have, and let me show you how this is looking because I blew a couple places out, and then I realized I probably should have flipped this thing over and made sure I was welding, doing my welds flat. I believe this is where I initially started. Looks like there's a little bit of an inclusion here. I'm gonna just grind that out, do that over. I just could not see where I was going with the thing. Same thing here, this started looking okay. This isn't any better. <laughs> and then this is when I tried to weld up heel. There's a nice piece of drippy metal hole here. Not a big deal, I'll grind that out. This one didn't look too bad, that's fine. I'll just grind it here a little there and just fill that in. That one looks, eh, looks okay. This one here, same thing, started running down. And then as I, and then I, as I was saying, uh, so you can see here, that one doesn't look too bad. And it's because I was welding it flat. I, so I had the amperage up too high when I started doing the 10 gauge stuff. It, I had it set pretty good here. This is probably the, the best weld out of all of them. I did wire brush this so that I could just take a look at it. It did have all those purples, yellows, and blues. I don't really care that it's on there. I actually just want to kind of try and clean some of this slag up and kind of gas marks from the, the flux. So I'm going to grind out the really crappy looking ones and get some more sticks and, and give it another try. And this thing will definitely need to be machined because it is rocking. That's for sure and not in the good ways. Hopefully I don't have to take off too much in order to get this thing nice and flat. So I am tired, that's about it for today. It's three o'clock, I need to bathe. Oh, it's four o'clock, thanks Shannon. It's four o'clock, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna bathe and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it is the next day. I am heading to Northern Tool to get some welding rods. A few other things, I'm gonna get a welding helmet for sure because those glasses just are killing my eyeballs. I couldn't see anything. So let's go ahead and do this. I got Apollo going for a ride with me. He loves his ride, so let's head to Northern Tool and back to the shop. He gets his header done. Hopefully. <laughs> Dang, they're out. Well, they didn't have what I needed, or at least the stainless rods at Northern Tool, so we're gonna go to Tractor Supply Co further north and there is another northern tool by them so hopefully i'll be able to get what i need from either one of those stores right apollo he agrees i am back from northern tool got everything i need so let's get back after welding we'll grind out some of the bad welds and try and wrap this up today
here's where I am thus far. I took the flapper sanding disc wheel and just kind of smooth out the weld so that way I can take this and start piecing this on here and figure out whether or not this is going to go on top or on the bottom. My welds came out okay. I started getting better at it the further along I went. Let's see if I can't put this in a place where it's easier for y'all to see. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, it came out all right. Just a lot of splatter. I tried cleaning all this splatter and slag up and uh, I don't think I'm gonna waste too much time on it. So I started working on just kind of smoothing out the, the flange to the piping, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that until I get the T3 mount on there. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut this piece up and try and fit it to the manifold and the T3 flange fitting. Looks like everything's gonna fit quite nice. I'm thinking that the air breather can fit here. However, I'm thinking possibly of routing the air breather down down here. So that way it'll get some cooler air, but I don't know. I might just have the air breather here, which means I'll have to delete the map sensor, which isn't a big deal. And so this thing will go forward and up just a little bit kind of see where things line up there and I'll definitely have to heat wrap the AC but the wastegates out of the way I've just got it kind of hanging at the moment but I'll probably have to modify this bracket so that way the angle is correct that won't be too big of a task but I'll figure that out once I get it out of here and kind of figure out my angle. So I marked off the exhaust manifold, the stock manifold. I didn't want to take the manifold off just yet because I'm not ready to put it on. Just trying to figure out where this thing is going to live. And let me know what you guys think about how close. I don't want it touching the the compressor turbine I don't want it touching let me know down in the comments if this should cause any issue with it being that close I don't think it will have any issue if anything this is going to be the issue I'm gonna get a blanket for it with this thing up a little bit kind of it's a heavy piece here so that should give me enough room to route the exhaust down that way as you can see, my I took some measurements and my manifold that I'm building, it should give me plenty of room just to, to shoot it straight down. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I'm happy with how it will be positioned. I think that'll look pretty damn cool. And it looks like the angle of this thing will be somewhere along the lines of 55 degrees. So I need to make sure that flange is 55 degrees. And I think the amount of kick out, I might have to, there's the piece I was cutting up earlier, that should kick it up just enough or I might have to 
shorten it down so that way, I don't know, I might take a little bit off. Because if that's it sitting on it, the flange that I have will kick this up in that way just a little bit. I did close the hood with it in there just to kind of test things out. Let's just go ahead and do that out. Ooh, one-handed. So that's, ow, I just hit my head. So that should work great. I am going to push it out that way just a little bit. I think I am going to call it a wrap for today. I am exhausted. I've got some of that grinding crap in my eyeball. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow along. We're getting closer. i got a few more things that are coming in. And before you know it, this thing will be turboed. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out with your peace out. What? <laughs> Oh, there he is back over that way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at Aaron.